So now I'm going to enter a topic that has been very dear to my own heart, which is how we can use the modality of breath work to heal trauma. So working in the field of Tantra, as I have done, obviously I began to realize there's so much trauma in the field of intimacy. There's obviously sexual trauma, but there's also a lot of trauma just from childhood developmental trauma that affects our intimacy later on in life. And so it's really important as we're on the path of Tantra to integrate really good trauma healing tools. That led myself to go and study with someone just fantastic. His name is Giten Tonkov, and he has been working for 20 years on a system which is one of the, the most solid um, systems you'll find out there for trauma healing. It's called the BBTRS, the Biodynamic Breathwork Trauma Release System. And um, I was lucky enough to study with him live when that still happened in Bali and really experienced how deep this work could go. So that's who I'm going to bring along today. So welcome, Gatan. Thank you, Shashi. Glad to be here. Yeah, so, so I'm so happy to see you again. Wish we were in uh, in Bali, but anyway, <laughs> it's uh, it's good to see you here. And um, yeah, so as I introduced, you know, I was led to you because working as a in the field of tantra, so many so many people have trauma, and I, I realized I need kind of tools that are more trauma specific. How did you get into this work? What led you there? Well, I became a massage therapist very early in life, and I think that was like. 20 or 21. So working with the body really led me deeper and deeper into understanding how people hold tension in their physical body. So I was full-time massage therapist in New York City, and I was doing like maybe four sessions a day, five sessions a day on daily basis. I was young and strong. I could do many sessions a day. Now, of course, I cannot so many. But just noticing how people hold tension in their body and that tension is related to past traumatic events and that tension can still be there since the childhood mm -hmm. and unless it's taken care of through body work through breath through movement this tension will stay there for as long as person <laughs> is, <doesn't laughs> take care of yeah so, right Right. Yeah. So, and of course, it, it can even worsen with old age, I guess, because then the body doesn't have its vitality. Yeah. So, it's really important for us to start clearing it. So, then you started to do body work combined with breath work. For anyone who doesn't know, I think everybody's tried it now, but maybe you could just in a nutshell describe what we mean by breath work. Yeah. So, the breath work means that we are consciously breathing in a certain pattern. So, we are all altering our normal way of breathing. So in the way that we uh, do it in biodynamic breath work, we work with conscious connected breathing. So we either breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Connected means that there is no pause between inhalation and exhalation, or there is a conscious mouth breathing. In this case, of course, there's more air comes in, means more energy, and the body charges uh, quite quickly with energetic charge. So pretty much breath is charge. The, the mm -hmm. deeper we breathe, the more we elevate our energetic charge in the body. And this is the charge that we're working with because this elevated energy, it wants to move. It wants to move through the pathways that already exist in our physical body. And the tension that's trauma related, that uh, could, could be related to developmental trauma, could be related to, to traumatic stress, it creates physical tension and it blocks that energy movement. Mm -hmm. So that's why breath work is super beneficial to unlock that tension that lives in the body sometimes for years so right. when when we breathe we create we elevate the energy charge it starts to move through our physical body it starts to dissolve that tension that's been held and of course the emotional charge starts to come up to the surface mm -hmm. any tension that's held in the body stores emotions mm -hmm. so we are working with that manifestation of the a physical charge is the emotional expression. So it's one of the elements of biodynamic breath work. 
So then when people are breathing, like as you said, that you said uh, wherever there's tension, there's an emotion trapped underneath it. So then maybe people don't feel so emotional, but they feel very tense. And then presumably when they start doing breath work, they're actually gonna, they're actually gonna feel emotion. So maybe you can describe a bit of the actual process um, of how, it, how someone would experience the breath work. So in biodynamic breath work, we work with six elements. The first one, as I mentioned before, is connected breathing. This is a foundational element. So in the session, we'll start slowly breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth to, to bring the charge up very slowly, gently. And as the session goes by, the body's opened up and we switch the breath to flow in through the, through the mouth. Mm -hmm. Then the second element we bring in is movement. Breath in its essence is movement. When someone is breathing, there is lungs expanding, contracting, there's diaphragm movement, there's all these supportive tissues, uh, structures when you're breathing, there, this movement happening in the body. So what we do, we support the natural movement that's already happening in the body. We expand it, we give it more space. So by doing that, we're beginning to loosen up the tissues. So there's breath, there's movement. The next element is touch. So we use in the virtual environment, we use self-touch. Mm -hmm. Touch could be stimulating uh, some deeper body work. Let's say working with the jaw where many people store their tension with the neck, the front, the back of the neck, the chest, the belly. Sometimes we go into the diaphragm. So all of these uh, body work techniques, self body work techniques, they support the tension to become looser. The, the, the actual mm -hmm. structures. But there's also another dimension to touch, which is um, uh, resourcing very soft touch, a loving touch that people can offer to themselves to, to kind of bring another dimension of connection to their bodies. Mm. Tantra mm -hmm. is such an, a body, body oriented um, field. It's, I, I don't even know how to call it. It's another modality. It's, it's, it's a field. It's so, it's so broad. So, but it's all rooted in the body. It's all rooted in the physicality, mm. in the mm. connection to our, to anchoring in our physical body. So through breath, through movement, through touch, these are the three elements that kind of a foundational, we create a space for the next element, which is expression. Mm. And tension begins to dissolve uh, with breath, with movement, with touch, supporting it, it begins to open up. The, uh, the next element that's created it is expression yeah the tension that held emotions needs to start to open up so we are expressing mm -hmm. voice so we're getting it out through yeah. expressing it so sound yeah. sound is the next element we use our voice and our voice is the most powerful musical instrument we have <laughs> it's it's op it comes from the inside the vibration comes from the inside and the vibration is extremely important. And now I'm speaking and I have a pair of gongs behind me. So I hear the gongs actually vibrating from the sound of my voice. So <laughs> the sound, even something that it, not so loud as my voice is affecting metal that's behind mm -hmm. me gongs so imagine the effect that we get that voice that comes from the inside it, it dislodges all the cells that stuck together and it it's actually opens up our throat and that's our main expression center so the next element is emotional expression so we we work with breath movement sound touch and this creates space for deep core tension to begin to release and manifest itself in emotions. Mm -hmm. Next final element is meditation. We support people to, to come into a space of non-judgmental awareness of their body, of their emotions. Mm -hmm. So it's the end of the session. You bring it all back to yourself so you can become just a witness to what's happening for you, what's happened to your body, what's happening to your emotions, what space has been created within. And mm -hmm. in essence, any breath work is Tantra. 
yeah. because it gives us a possibility to come deeper into deeper connection with ourselves mm -hmm. and be in the moment. The moment we begin to breathe deep in a connected breath, we are in the moment. And mm -hmm. time is really moving from moment to moment. It, it knows no past, no future. It is meditation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as I was listening to you, I was just thinking how often we define Tantra as being the meeting of meditation with the movement of energy, Shiva and Shakti. And it's exactly that that you're describing, letting the sound, the emotion, the breath, being all of that kind of Shakti or energy that's inside of us, but meeting it with that non-judgmental awareness. And that's, there's so much healing in that and bringing those two things together of like the movement with the witnessing. So it's absolutely Tantra. I mean, it fits the definition just perfectly. And I think it's such a, it's such a core part actually of, of Tantra is when you look at classical Tantric practices are all based around the breath. So um, yeah, it's really the meeting of the new, more modern science that we understand around trauma healing with these kind of ancient tools that people have used for a long time. <laughs> Welcome to that. That's on my lap. <laughs> Maybe the cat has something to share. Cats are very wise. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So um, at the Live Tantra Trauma Healing Symposium, um, Tantra Healing Symposium, you're going to be sharing a class and you're going to be actually leading people through a live experience of their own for this. Yes. So we will experiment with all these six elements that I just mentioned, and it will be a fully guided okay. session. It, it it, it cut out. It was the cat. Yeah, yeah. We're back again. <laughs> yeah. So we will be working with with the six elements that I mentioned: breath, movement, touch, sound, emotional expression, and meditation. Mm -hmm. And it's a guided session. It's fully, fully experiential, and uh, it, it it's definitely a beautiful, beautiful experience for people to to connect in such a way to their body. Very touching, very, uh, very opening. It's a life. I I can't wait. I've I've missed doing a live session, so I'm going to be there, breathing along with you. <laughs> Thank you so much for offering your incredible space holding to to this Bye. event because I think you're absolutely a master in, in the field, one of the most important people in the world of trauma healing. So thank you. Thank you for putting this work together and sharing it with the world and sharing it with us. And uh, look forward to seeing you there. Me too. <laughs>